Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pitzel Sammy and in this particular video, I'm going to tell you guys how to make Instagram stories in Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro and in After Effects using some awesome templates by Digital Products 6 9 Now, a small disclaimer, Digital Products 6 9 is sponsored in this video, but like all my videos, I'm not liable to say anything nice about them. Whatever I'm going to show a tutorial on this is totally my own. It is totally my own opinion about the product and how I feel about it. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so this particular pack consists of loads and loads of Instagram stories in the form of templates along with some swipe ups, titles, motion graphics, headers, backgrounds, transitions, etc. And all of this combined has made the ultimate story pack for Instagram for both Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro and After Effects. And just to be clear, I have made this particular tutorial on Premiere Pro but you can follow the exact steps and do it in After Effects and in Final Cut Pro as well. So with that being said, let's get started in Premiere Pro. Okay, so after you download the pack, you're going to see these two options which is Health and Documentation and the other one is Premiere Pro Project File. Now for Final Cut Pro, it will be Final Cut Pro and for After Effects, it will be After Effects. So just make sure about that. So after you click this, it will give you a link to all the fonts which you need to download for using this particular template. Also, it will give you a Dropbox link to all the download links for the fonts so you can download them directly and install them. Then after that, you need to open the project file. Click on the project file which is there and double click it. And then this will appear. So this is in the format of a vertical Instagram story but if you want you can just place a square Instagram story or a other format Instagram story as well. So as you can see in this particular box there are all sorts of folders which contains pre-made scenes, titles, templates, headers, transitions etc. Now in order to just see each of the things properly click on this and then it will be in the format of a grid and then double click on this and then this will appear and then you can see all the ready-made stories in a square fashion or in a vertical format fashion so i'm going to just go back just show another example such as this one so as you can see this is another story which is there in the vertical format as well as in the square format now this is actually how the sequence looks like now if you double click on this, you are going to see this essential graphics panel on the right hand side. Now if you don't see this, go to the window and click on essential graphics. And then this will automatically appear. Now in this essential graphics panel, you can do all sorts of things such as fading in, fading out, decreasing the duration of the clip, decreasing the duration of the Instagram story, changing what's written in the Instagram stories. For example, in this particular panel, I can change what is written in the Instagram story. For example this one there are other things also as well as the animation the transition the font as well as the color of the entire story for example each and every color as you can see here consists of different parts of the story so if you change any of the colors the entire story will change as well now if you want to just change the picture of the story then double click on the green box and then this will appear another sequence will appear and in this particular panel you want to just place your picture for example i'm going to just place my picture right around here drag it all the way till the end and then after that you can see that my story has been updated with my picture it is that simple it is that simple to use after that what you guys need to do is you guys need to just render it out and export it it is pretty much done now there are other sample stories as well so you know to just use them just double click on the stories such as this and then you're going to see the entire sequence right here and then in a similar fashion what you guys need to do is you need to just change the text the font the color the background if you guys want to and that is pretty much it now say for example if you guys want to make a instagram story from scratch so this is one sequence sequence 01 which they provide on their own just double click on this to create a new sequence just like this and then in this particular panel you're going to create your own story for example if i just drag my own picture onto this particular sequence and then after that in order to make my own story i'm going to just add a new title right here just drag and drop the title right around here as you can see the animation is already ready now if you want to just change the text of this particular animation or this particular title double click on this and then change the text right here if you guys want to and then you can change the color the fade in option the animation options all those things you can change right here as well 
and that is pretty much it that is how you add a title onto your own story i'm going to just customize the text of the story just a little bit just to show you guys so then after that just go back to the previous one and you can see that it is already updated with the new words. So now what you need to do is you need to just delete the, all the extra portions just like this. Just trim it and delete them. So your main title is ready. Now what you guys need to do, you need to add a swipe up function also right. As in Instagram stories most of you have the swipe up option. So you guys would like to add a swipe up function right. So just go to the swipe ups go to any one of them just drag and drop it onto this footage just like this actually this one doesn't look good with this particular footage so i'm going to just delete this one search again there are many swipe ups which are there in this particular folder so you guys don't need to worry about anything else you guys will like any one of them for your instagram stories so for this i'm going to just try this one this one looks really good and i think this one looks really good for this particular instagram story and I'm going to just delete the extra portions and as you can see it looks really good the swipe up looks really good then after that I'm going to just check all the other things there are other things also such as headers transitions and all those other things I'm going to just click on one of them such as background and we just check how these backgrounds look now backgrounds are used for different purposes as you know you might need some backgrounds for your graphics and all so I'm going to just sample one background right here, right around this and it looks really good. Not for this particular story I guess but for better graphics this particular background will look really good. For example just like this maybe a product image in the middle will look really good with the swipe up or a buy now function. The last thing which I'm going to show today is the transitions portion. For example this is one transition which I'm going to show. So this is more like a layer transition which you can use in your videos or in your Instagram stories. So I'm going to use another picture in this particular sequence so that I can transition to that picture. So I've just dragged in one more picture to this particular sequence and just scaled it a little bit. And as you can see once you drag this particular transition it is totally black. In order to just face this particular thing just click on this. Go to the FS control panel and just click on lighten or screen and it will pretty much do the job. As you can see your transition is ready. Now for example if you guys want another kind of transition, for example you have another funky kind of transition which you can use. So just go to the main panel, just go to transitions, another one just like this. This one will look really good, for example this one. After you grab this. Just drag it between the clips. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to just hide this and unhide this one. As you can see, this will look really good. Yes, you need to just time it a little bit more, just like this, maybe a little bit more on the left. Just drag it a little bit on the left. And as you can see, your transition is ready. It is that simple. Just drag and drop and a little bit retime in and all, and it is pretty much done. And then after you do that, just double click on that and then change the text in the essential graphics panel and that is pretty much it and then go back to the previous sequence and then your effect is ready to be used render it out transfer it to your computer and then post it on instagram and that is pretty much it this is a very simple technique this particular package is really amazing for you guys to use because it is very simple it is very user friendly the customization is really really easy to use and on top of that, it is available for both Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro and After Effects. So all my audience, rest assured, your particular package is here. With that being said, this is pretty much it.